ladies, gentlemen, let the show begin. All right. Do you like video games? And I know you do. What about entertainment? We got that to video game. I'm on a video game. Video game. Oh, what's the name? Video game Armada. This is the Avengers. This is the Might. This is the Fragman. And the informational upper true backlash. Coming back to you with Roni Kenshin Double X. And in this episode, oh baby, we're going fat. Let's see what his story is. Oh, Bro. fire rune and famine. That was earthquake. He just grilled the vegetables and ate them. He probably wants treasure. Yeah. And a dentist. A word of the scourge bat befalling Japan quickly made its way overseas. However, only one man welcomed the news with they said to delight, nefarious delight. The infamous bandit earthquake knew the land held treasure primed for plunder. And so, with underlings in tow, he eagerly journeyed forth into the darkness. What underlings would join him? Does he have even self-control not to eat them on the way? He well, looks like the guy who would be a cannibal in like five minutes if he ran out of actual food. Oh. Oh, it's the crazy angry man. That makes sense. He's a bad guy too. But I'll give Earthquake some credit. He just wants to steal things. This guy just wants to straight up kill people <laughs> if they even look like they can fight. So anyway, what's going to persevere here? The, the fat, the power of fat versus the po power of door. I mean, you need doors and windows to go places. But I don't know. Fat at that level is pretty unstoppable. I mean, he stabbed him already a couple of times, and he's still moving. He's doing a rodeo. Man, he loves doing that. I don't think I've ever seen him do that kind of fat, that kind of attack before Earthquake. But he's probably Mr. Generic Jurek here. Says, hey, you know, this guy's fat. Let me stab him like a pig. Oh, yeah. ouch. You better watch out. Oh. oh, you better watch out. He's gonna get you. you sure? <laughs> I was worried for a second. This is the first fight. Literally the first fight. And now he's eating his chicken of human flesh. He says it's good. Doing his Sonic the, Sonic the Hedgehog impression. Is it working? It's time for a grab. He is finished. Earthquake is the grappler in this game, no doubt. He's both a ninja and a big huge guy, so you know he is the ultimate grappler. He might as well call himself Zangief instead of Earthquake. And the funny thing is, he's easier to do than Zangief. I guess so. Now take a look at you, I think he said. This should be hilarious. I hope so. <laughs> Too bad. If you were a little meeker, I would have made you one of my henchmen. Wow. He, that's that's a seal of approval? Question mark? <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's too strong-willed, you know. Well, I guess that's true. He doesn't want to deal with... Don't deal with people questioning his every move. That's how we get Starscream. Oh, it's the Painted Man. <laughs> hey, Painted Man. We'll get to him soon enough. I'm sure we will. I'll be honest with you, I've seen this guy so many times. I feel like I know him. I have to ask him how the kids are doing. <laughs> How's the little lady? Did she get did she did she uh did she uh, pass her pri uh, primary administrative ibuki exam? I'm sure she did. Someone's gotta run this like area. It's certainly not Kiryo show. Hiroshio, I think. Hiroshio. I think Hiroshio likes to fight too much. Yoga Flame. Well, he's a fat Yoga Flame anyway. Oh, this is gonna be easy. Now, the thing is, when it comes to Dalsi, that's due to for the fire is due to mysticism. But when it comes to Earthquake, 
Earthquake. Excuse me. Earthquake. Econ just fired simply because all the lard he's ingested. All he needs to do is spit and have a small spark inside his mouth and then instant fire. Well, keep in mind, he is an itch. Oh! What? Uh, uh, okay. Yeah. Is that the first time we ever saw him? Ooh, got him. I think so. I was, I'm surprised. And now, Earthquake, you're so fat. You became a meteor. Whoa. Oh, right before our eyes. Ouch. He's, o he's, he's okay, guys. Not torso, but exploded and smashed. Yeah, barely okay if that's the case. You just got one trick, Pody. You're just one trick, Pody, fool. Look at me. I got fire in the gas. Oh, Get God. it? Because he's fat! Fat! Get it? He's gassy all the time! If he's not counting his weapon as part of his repertoire, does that make him a two trick pony? That's not much better. Ah, Crow Man. No, nope, but no. Sora. Nope, I was wrong. It's another blue here. This one's creepy. Got similar weapons. Oh, yeah, you're right. And who, who's, who's gonna win in the long range chain off? Earthquake or creepy zombie blue hair? Watch. Poke. Now he's on fire. Oh, oh no! Oh, whoa, whoa! Ballistic barrage! Uh -oh. Better grab your weapon. There you go. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Okay, first of all, you should be able to block a grab. You can uh, dodge a grab. You can avoid a grab, sure. But don't block a grab because you're going to get grabbed. Yep. But this game says, okay, you can block grabs now. But I give, I give like, 100 points to Earthquake by just not stop grabbing. He's just going to say, I'm going to grab you. I'm going to grab you. I'm going to grab you. Until he actually grabs somebody. Oh, that's tricky. Oh, who's the ninja around here? I know it's hard for me to say, but it should only be right now the big fat man from Texas. Not zombie ninja guy. And you get a hip attack. Yeah. Or, I'm sorry, a blood attack. Oh, watch it! Whoa, it's a trick! It's all right, do it. But, uh, that was smart. I gotta watch out for Blue Hair, he's very tricky. Yeah, he's also DLC. So it's oh, gonna of course he you. is. You know, I bet you're gonna want me to pay for that, huh? Yeah, well, you do run things around here. Yeah, I do. I got... <laughs> what kind of blither he didn't challenge me to a fight without knowing my strength? That seems like a stock answer to me. <laughs> yeah. I'll have you know, I was that idiot. Yeah. You said it, not me. I'll speak it as Basara. Probably. Uh, too late, it's on the internet now. Oh, gosh. People can use it as they will. Ha <laughs> ha. Gal food. What, this is the, the rival battle? You would think that'd be the rival battle. But I guess since it was a rival uh, battle for Galford, I guess Earthquake's got bigger fish to fry. I guess. Sounds like. Well, anyway, Earthquake, I, you know what? Maybe he wouldn't eat humans, but he's definitely gonna eat that dog, so you better watch out, Galford. Because Poppy may be on the menu. And I don't mean poppy seeds. <laughs> I still can't believe he does that much. He does a rodeo attack. Come on, Earthquake, do your own mini grab. You can grab people. Oh, nice. Got it. I just can't believe he does this. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm, you know, I'm willing to believe, like, you know, ninjas have, like, extra magical attacks. That poor black lady is so just devastated. Yeah, she is. You know, I can, you know, believe that a girl 
can be the sole guardian of the earth and nature. Sure. I can, I can, you know, even if I squint my eyes. You know. Is that fully. a perfect? Yeah, Ooh! apparently. Good job. See, I told you. You and fat characters are like this. I wrecked him. Poor Galford. Poor Galford, and then here comes some smack talk. Hard work, gut. <laughs> you thought you could beat me with that? You need talent. T A L E N T. Talent. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. This guy is such a generic thug, but he's entertaining. So, like. This is U L G Y U G L Y. You ain't got no alibi, you ugly. Oh, you know. You talked her up. Yeah, and you know what? I don't even care anymore. It, it just she's just gonna show up just to be a curse on the battlefield. Fine. We always beat her up anyway. Yeah, but now your earthquake. He looks like the kind of guy to beat up a woman and then her life to take her stuff. Yeah. So this should be quick enough. So as far as I know, she's magic. So she does have that. But it's not enough. But again, she keeps showing up. So what do you got to do? She seems very aristocratic, too. I could be wrong. And if she's got money... She should really hire extra guards or something to at least back her up if she's going to be on the battlefield. Oh, this game doesn't use backup. I get your in my way. I'm going to have to fight you before I fight the final boss. Look, it's not like, you know, fighting games haven't done that. That's what strikers are for. Strikers show up. You can't just be going on the battlefield if you're just some lady with a magic shield who don't look like you could fight. <laughs> Even Earthquake is just saying, what you doing here, girl? Go back and be a librarian. Oh, crap. I didn't mean to do that. Soon. Well, this, sh this shouldn't be too bad. I didn't mean to do that, though. Well, I know that. But now she's got, like, less than half life. You cannot take care of this. I mean... Come on, you're like, you're like the biggest, fattest thing here. You can just out-muscle her. Don't even let that intimidate you. You know they never do anything. Uh oh, oh she got me. Oh, she's, she's so scared of the blood. She was using her frying pan as a shield. You know, I never seen her win at her before. <laughs> That's weird. It's gonna be an easy fight. Easy it, fight, I mean. It'll definitely be an easy fight. Even her winning, she looks like a nerd who should be in a librarian. Should be a library. Working by the Dewey Decimal System. Yeah, I think that's gonna be another perfect. No. No. I, th I think she her guard should have been broken. You bounce on her pretty good. <laughs> like that. Just you're stomping on her. Yeah, just stepping on her spine. Yep, she doesn't have a spine left. It's powder. <laughs> yeah. What's this quote here? So unless you bore me to tears, try to it anyway, I move some more. Huh? Nah, I don't. Uh, I think it may be more of a stock answer. Maybe. Alright. Oh, pff, dang it. I was gonna say this had to be Crow Man, but no, it's the bow lady with very marketable demon. Champel. It's like a squirrel. I wonder what happened to them. They get beat up like that. Maybe she was bored with the eye patch? Uh, nah, she had two eyes last time I saw her. Really? Yeah. Well, if, she, if that's a demon, then maybe she made a key deal with a demon. Give up an eye for a little mascot creature to follow her around. And again, you know, she's got a bow and arrow. That is a tactical advantage, but she doesn't use it. Nope. She definitely wanted to be a Power Ranger. I just kept on spamming her where she had the advantage. 
Hey, you know what? The results speak for itself. That gotta be quick now. Now she can't shoot you at any time, so be careful. Miss. Come on. This music. Oh, okay. I, I didn't get the perfect though. Nah, that's okay. That's that's pretty good. You did get a perfect in a round. That's uh. That's uh. What do you call it? That's two perfects in one like complete recording. That's yeah. not bad. But <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Star cancer. Yoshi Tora. All right, here we go. A lot of people at this night stage. I know, right? That's why I always think it's Crow Man. Anyway, Earthquake is like say, Hey, guy with the stuff in his hair, give me your swords, I'm gonna sell them. Is it this guy like a uh, noble or something? Yeah. Well, there you go. This is this was an RPG. Earthquake is that generic bandit they meet when they start the adventure. No, he's the boss bandit. He's not gonna go down so easily. That's true. You're very right. He's the boss bandit. <laughs> that gives the heroes a little trouble. But in this game, the bandit's gonna win. Block. That block sounded weird too. It's like uh, someone threw a softball in the mitt. Like the. You would think it would be like a harder block. Speaking of blocking, he does too much of it. That's why I'm able to get him. Yeah. Yeah, he is dangerous. Especially to that chicken leg. Uh, why you? Got him. Once again, he rockets above to become a meteor using his own gravitational pull. Smash his opponent. You have seven swords, Yoshi Tora. Grab, grab. Now you have zero. Wow, wow, wow. Rat. Not, not too impressive for what it was just to become a shogun. <coughs> Maybe I was too strong. <laughs> Anything's possible, fat boy. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Iron Lily. You collected a ton of treasure, right? Head it over quick before I make you regret it. I called it. You did. Very smart. You think I'm a pirate too? Sorry to support you, but I'm no pirate. I'm a carpenter. And what? What? What is it that you want to steal from me? My tools? Uh, okay, you're a pirate carpenter lady. Don't lie to me. You don't get those abs with carpentry.